Hi guys, this is Tekken57 and this is part 2 of the tutorial on importing custom meshes into wire object models for use in the WWE series of games. Okay, before I proceed with the tutorial, I'd just like to give thank you to Hanley's Famer for discovering this method of importing uh, custom meshes into the game, to uh, Obsolete Rips for uh, putting me in contact with Hanley's Famer, and also to uh, Pepsi Guy 2 on the Smack Talks forums for helping me to test and uh, guiding me with regards to the process of importing weights and uh, rigging the models. Uh, Alright, with that out of the way, let me uh, get started with the tutorial. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be working on importing a head mesh into one of the wrestler Y object files. Okay, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be working with uh, Conor McGregor's um, head mesh from uh, U the UFC 2 game. So I've opened the actual UFC2 file using the uh, UFC model option and selecting the MCD file. Okay, I'm gonna export this. I'm gonna call this object zero corner UFC object. All right. And I'm gonna be importing this uh, head object into uh, the rocks Y object file. All right, now I'm gonna go into 3D Studio Max and I've already imported the rocks model. Uh, but if you need to do this, but to actually import the model into the game, you need to run the uh, WWE2K18 PC exclusive script, which was created by Zaramot on the Zentax forums, and which I've edited um, to work with uh, importing the, uh, which I've edited to work with importing the rigging and the models back into the game. Okay, I'm not going to run it now because it takes a very long time. So I've already worked in 3D Studio Max. Okay, I'm going to import the Conor McGregor UFC head into um, 3D Studio Max. I'm going to position and scale it so that uh, it's aligned to the rocks head and then I'm going to export the Conor McGregor head. So to save time, I've already positioned and scaled the object. Uh, so I'm just going to import the one that I've positioned and scaled. Alright, you can see it's positioned over the rock set. You can position it and scale it a bit better than this, size it to match the rock set exactly, whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm just doing it roughly to give you an example of what needs to be done. Alright, um, as with the other tutorials uh, that I've done before this, you need to have the uh, NIF plugin installed. I've detailed how to do this in tutorial 1. So go and watch this if you don't have the NIF uh, plugin installed for 3D Studio Max. And this plugin only works on with 3D Studio Max on 2015 to 2018. All right, so the first thing you would need to do is um, you need to look at the number of vertices and the number of polygons contained in this mesh. So we can determine whether we need to increase the polygon and vert count or decrease these. So let's look at uh, the vertices. And you can see that there's 5,227 vertices and we have 10,100 faces. Okay, if you look at the rocks Y object file, right, you'll see that he has a vertex count of 3,936 and uh, so he has a polygon count of 11,697. Alright, so we need to decrease the number of vertices and number of polygons. So I'm going to apply two, uh, two modifiers for this purpose. Firstly, I'm going to select the Mesh Smooth. Right, and I'm going to decrease the Mesh Smooth value by to 0 0.01. I'm applying the Mesh Smooth modifier because sometimes the multi rays tool gets confused with the faces when trying to optimize the mesh. And the Mesh Smooth modifier usually fixes this. Okay, and then I'm going to run the Mesh, uh, the multi rays tool. And I'm going to hit the Generate button. Alright, we can see that the vert count is 5,660. Okay, and we need a vert count of 3,936. We'll reduce the face count to maybe 3,600. Uh, hopefully that will sort the problem out. Unfortunately, you have to try a couple of times before you can get it to work. But you want to try and get the number of vertices and the number of faces as close to the maximum number that you can get so that you don't lose too much of detail on the uh, object. All right, so let's try this again. 
Okay, and the file has been injected successfully. Okay, in this instance, we're actually quite fortunate that the, that the texture looks normal. But there are instances where the textures do not look normal at all, and the texture map gets completely messed up. All right, so now we're going to import this back into the game. All right, so the mesh looks completely messed up. It's not moving correctly, and there are all sorts of other issues. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to fix the rigging of the object. So I'm going to exit this. And I'm going to export the object which was just imported. So I'm going to call this object zero imported. We cannot work with the mesh which we exported to NIF because the NIF plugin retriangulates the vertices and the uh, polygons. We need to import the mesh which we've injected into X-ray. So let's go with object zero imported. I'm just going to hide object. Well, we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to go into the rock's original head object. I'm going to copy the skin modifier. Uh, I'm going to copy the skin modifier and I'm going to paste it onto uh, Conor McGregor's head. All right. Then we need to look at the amount of bones which is affecting the skin. So we're going to go down to advanced and we're going to look at the bone effect limit. So this value needs to be the same as the weight count. So let's look at the weight count. Weight count here is 7, so we need to specify this value as 7. Okay. Thereafter we hit the run script and we run the bone weights to file script which I've created. Okay, and that's going to give us uh, it's going to give us a text file. So I'm just going to call this object zero Kana. Okay, I'm going to go back into the Y object, and I'm going to import the weights. Okay, so now we've done the weights, which means that the object is rigged. There are two reasons why the mesh looks corrupted in game. The first is that we haven't taken the objects to the bones, and the second is that there are specific meshes created for specific facial animations. So if you right click object zero, and you select load animations 2K18 upwards. Okay, this will list all the animation meshes which are created for the game. So your animation zero is your neutral position. If you look at one of the other animations, uh, you find that the game applies a transform to try and get the animation uh, that is required. But because it's looking at the original uh, mesh for the rock and it's trying to apply the animations, you find that the object looks corrupted. So if I double click this, you can see that the mesh looks completely messed up. Okay, so in other words, what we need to do is we need to create uh, animation meshes for each of the expressions. Uh, the process for this is the same as we used to do so in uh, WW2K17. I'm not going to go into too much of detail in that right now. However, you can watch the older tutorials I did on how to create uh, morph targets for uh, meshes. Um, if I can just demonstrate how I've done this for uh, my Scott Steiner uh, TNA mesh that I've imported into the game. So basically animation zero is uh, neutral. And then I do sculpting to try and get the remainder of the animations going. And um, I import these back into the game. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to do uh, the animations. I'm just going to reset all the animations to zero. OK, so I'm going to export animation zero into a folder. And you can inject this animation zero into each of the uh, remaining files. So a quick way just to make a duplicate of this object. So I'm going to just name this 
animation, take out the zero, and I will run a DOS command to make 110 copies of this uh, object, which we can import back into the game. So the command looks like this. Uh, I'm going to make 110 copies of this game, and I'm going to change the name from animation underscore to animation and the name of the uh, uh, and the value of the loop that we are running. Okay, that's the reason why I had to remove the un D0 from the name. Okay, I'm going to run this command. And you will find that uh, it makes duplicate copies of the file for you. Uh, just rename this back to animation underscore zero. And we can look at the number of files. So we need 110 in total the animation slots. Select that folder. So what X-ray is doing is it's taking the neutral position for the animation and injecting it into all the animation slots so that uh, the uh, mesh will not have any facial expressions in game. So if you need to create facial expressions, you need to go and sculpt these in Mudbox. So hopefully this should fix the problem with the mesh appearing corrupt in game. So Okay, and you can see that the head object moves correctly. There's no distortions on the model. And uh, the model doesn't have any weird facial expressions. All right, if you want to actually assign animations to a model, you need to go and manually create uh, the morph targets like I've indicated in, um, um, like I've demonstrated in Mudbox. Um, like I said, the process of exporting and importing the meshes and trying to get the correct polygon and vert counts is something that you need to work with and go through trial and error to try and get correct. Um, it's not something that you can do easily and the process of actually getting a head uh, model rigged with animations is very time consuming as you can see. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to use this method to import the head meshes from other games or whether you would like to uh, utilize the retopology method which we've been using over the years using tools such as shrink wrap or wrap it. Uh, anyways, the choice is yours. And uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and that you managed to import custom meshes into the game. Uh, I know it's fairly complicated, so take the time to go through the tutorial and look at some of my tutorials which came before this so if you do not understand any of the concepts that are detailed in this tutorial. Um, that's it for me. Happy modding and take care until next time.